257 BHS Ultralight Coachman RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We haven't had one of these in stock in a while, not because we don't like it, because we can't keep it in stock. This, this floor plan's only existed for about nine months and it's already a bestseller. It just instantly took off. It's, it's awesome because everyone ha has seen that 26 foot no slide bunkhouse, but they just always wish they had a little room. I have a 26 no slide bunkhouse. I always wish I had a little more room. You know, this is, I sat down one time and I drafted up the floor plan I would want to take home. <laughs> this is it. They came out with it like six months later. Um, there are so many lightweights today, guys, and there are more travel trailers now than ever. So why go with this one versus Brand X? That's what I want to hit on. Every trailer is the best at something. They're all the best for different reasons. What makes the Freedom Express special? That's what I want to focus on. Because you can talk to 10 different guys at 10 different dealerships, and they're always going to say, well, my camper is the best, and they're right. For different reasons but that's what they don't tell you it's the details that uh like this little resin table right here it's a, a two foot by four foot picnic table you can take outside uh use like you know for cleaning fish or anything like that and it's resin top it's not wood it's not going to sponge and soak up water and fall apart over time um this is all aluminum uh framed and whatnot and you see it's welded aluminum now notice right here we have this easy button boom full led lights now this is the middle of the day and uh, you can see it's already making a pretty big difference. Imagine when you're trying to, you know, manage your storage capacity here, you know, in the uh, morning or afternoon or evening or something like that. Also, this is an extra large baggage door and baggage compartment. It's like three quarters of a three quarter ton pickup bed with an extra wide door so you can actually get stuff in there. Um, about a year ago, Coachman switched over to this bullet nose front profile. I think it looks better and it does seem to tow easier from what our customers have reported. I haven't personally verified that. Uh, a lot of lightweights are, are skimping on things like the diamond plate. You won't find that on a Freedom Express. It's going to keep your camper looking good. Uh, they put the spare tire up front to keep your rear bumper open for bike racks, and you see they have a double-sized battery tray. They like to use 20-pound tanks instead of 30s, the advantage being that you can uh, swap these out anytime, anywhere. You know, If it's a Sunday and you're out of town and you, there's no place to fill propane, don't worry about it. Go to the gas station. Now, power awning, power tongue jack. Again, lightweight campers and generally any camper nowadays seem to give those things away like candy so what you need to pay attention to is the quality of the appliance or the fixture and that's where you're going to find this really does kind of reign supreme if you just look at a, a feature and spec sheet you know you're going to see power awning power tongue jack enclosed underbelly well a lot of campers have that but are they different are they different grade motors that's where the coachmans are better um, this usually doesn't show up well on video, but if you can look really close here, if you listen, you can hear how rough that is. That's my fingernails on this. This is a heavily textured slide wall, and that is what's pulling these seals so taut. You see how it's perfectly flush all the way down? It's not like tucked halfway in, half, I can't even make it do it, but it's not tucked halfway in, half out. Um, now this is vacuum bonded not pinch roll laminated. There's nothing wrong with pinch roll lamination. Uh, long story short, uh, vacuum bonding lasts longer, it's stronger. There's nothing wrong with pinch rolling, vacuum bonding is better, it costs a dollar more. Again, those are the differences. If you're going to go camping twice a year and only for a weekend at a time, maybe you don't need something that's built on the upper tier. But if you plan to own something for a long period, don't you want to make sure you have a return on investment, something that's built well that will last? Uh, the underbelly, by the way, uh, does have a measure of heating to keep your tanks warm and whatnot. I've got a uh, truck potentially passing behind me here. Oh, no, I don't. Um, a lot of lightweights. Only your sidewalls are laminated. On this Freedom Express, uh, you know, we're seeing far more lamination. Now, this has a, um, a walkable roof, fully walkable roof. You can get up there, walk on it, maintain it. Not a problem. Same roof structure as... Uh, like a Jayco J flight, which holds like what 300 pounds per square inch or something silly like that. Um, now, look at the power awning on this again, devil's in the details. Look at the size of it, it goes at the rear wall all the way to the front where a bullet nose is down. You cannot put a larger awning on this maximum awning size, and that's something a lot of manufacturers skimped on for years. All of a sudden, we started seeing these 12 14 foot awnings. This is like 20 21 feet. This is a little uh, outdoor kitchen here. Now this is set up a little different from most, and I really wanted to take a moment to showcase this. The whole countertop slides out. 
Now, to keep it locked in place, you have an extra fold-down countertop back here that the light is not being very conducive on. Notice even out here, we still have LED lights. We don't use incandescent bulbs in these Freedom Expresses. Now, also, these countertops are sealed edged. They're waterfall edged. That means that, again, water's not gonna get in here, seep in, sponge, and cause soft spots. Now, this is such a big countertop space right here because you get a, I don't know if the camera's spotting it, there you go, a Coleman Camp Grill comes with this, a, por a fully, portable Coleman camp grill. Uh, you do have hot and cold water. We do have a power outlet hidden back here for things like microwaves and griddles. Uh, we have uh, the uh, the little college kid mini fridge to keep the barley pops cold, or traditional pop, just depends. You see that we do have LED lights under the awning here. Now, uh, what's kind of cool is you notice with the lights mounted at the base of the awning, I can run the lights during uh, any time, like in the evening when the awning is not all the way out. I specifically left the awning partially rolled in to show you that. Uh, we have aluminum wheels, so they're not gonna rust on you. And we have wide stance load equalization axles. These are going to help you with uh, swaying going down the road so that the trailer isn't fishtailing as much. Um, always please still equip your vehicle with like uh, you know proper weight distribution and anti-sway set but that does help every ounce helps and again details we have a bigger grab handle versus the small one all that little stuff adds up more details the fact that the stovetop vent does uh push heat outside you you think yeah don't they all do that and the answer is no no they don't a lot of them do not actually exhaust heat they only uh mitigate fumage this camper, by the way, is 5,301 pounds. So uh, it is, uh, you know, easily half ton total. And again, I just like to show you that whole light strip right there. Now, I mentioned quality of appliance. I have a battery hooked up to this, so you can take a quick look at it. Watch how fast this moves. Most power awnings do not move at that speed. They move very, very slowly because people use cheaper motors on them. On a Freedom Express, they use a higher quality motor. Now, the switch for this is right next to the door. If you wake up at night and the wind is kicking around like it is right now, which I apologize if some wind is hitting the camera, there's not much I can do about it. I'd like to wait till a nice still wind day, but when you're selling as many as we do, I have to move what I can when I can. But, you know, if your awning is out and the weather is bad, you don't even have to wait. You can roll it up and be done with it. You know, you don't even have to put on pants. This is easy. Now you walk right in and just like at home, you have, boom, one light switch. And look at the difference that makes even during the day. That's because these are all LEDs. These are all high quality. These are not cheap incandescent bulbs. These are made to be bright and last a long time, worry-free, and not drain as hard on your battery. Real quick, I, again, I want to mention there's options and upgrades uh, present in this video that are not standard on every single 257, even the ones we carry. We'll generally have them equipped like this, but like we might have different fabric shades on the next one. Our, we like to make our pictures match as close as we can. Always call and double check, please. Critical, critical differences in this versus pretty much any other lightweight out there. First of all, they use Asdell in the sidewalls. And you can see that, if I open the door, you can see that right here. That is the white strip right here. It's not really focusing well. But this, instead of uh, a Luan under the fiberglass skin, that is Asdell. Now what Asdell means is it's a resin. It's not a wood. It can't rot. It can't mold. It can't mildew. It has a higher R factor for insulation purposes. It weighs less. Now that weight savings, what that's going to get you is this camper is now bigger. The, most travel trailers are 78 inches tall. This is 81 inches tall. That three inches makes all the difference in the world. It means you have bigger, taller cabinets. It means you have more bunk spaces. It means you have a taller shower. Now the critical one here in this model is it means you have three more inches for a taller slide out. So you're getting so much because of three inches of headroom, but you're not gaining weight because of the Asdell walls. It's pretty cool. This is very well engineered. You see you've got lots of windows in here so much that it's making my camera freak out. And you're getting some, you'll get awesome cross breeze and airflow because of that. Your dinette storage is awesome. First of all, the dinette can fold down into a seven foot bed if you need it. Again, you will always see that sealed edge countertop I mentioned, because if you're sitting here and the kid spills a Kool-Aid, it's not gonna soak into your tabletop and, and cause it to sponge and get soft on you. Um, 
easy access to all of the side storage here. And uh, you can see again, they do put good uh, structure and reinforcement in there. Now notice on the back side of the dinette, you see these little finger holes? These are sliding panels, so you can get to that storage without tearing apart your entire dinette. Stuff like that takes an extra minute or two, but it's better. If you look around, you're going to see power outlets always right next to where someone's sitting or sleeping. That's to keep things like devices charged and ready at all times. Now, what you, you will see a lot of very similar floor plans. If all you do is look at a floor plan schematic, you're like, well, these things are all the same. Devils in the details. Uh, like, bigger storage here. That is one of the reasons our 257 Freedom Express sold out before any of the other similar models that we have. In this floor plan, this is the best seller. And I have this in Jayco, in Keystone, I have it here in a Coachman. This is the one that outsells all of them because it has better storage and better intelligent design. Uh, you know, you have more space for all the kids' socks and toys and, and underwear and stuff like that. Um, again, talking about storage, you saw me open this overhead cabinet here. Did you notice? This is the, uh, the little box for like the microwave tray. See how small it looks in here compared to this big door? There's tons of storage space in here. Um, you have more full extension kitchen drawers right over here, and they are full extension, you see. This is one of my favorite things in Coachman. They've had this for years, but it's awesome. This drawer wraps around the sink, and it's the best use of space under a sink ever in any camper ever. <laughs> Um, a lot of manufacturers will give you two tall doors and then they will actually enclose this little section off down here for various reasons. Coachman has designed this to give you maximum storage space everywhere they can. Um, even little things, because this is a little bit taller, they went ahead and said, not a problem, we'll just open up this little pocket for like bread and stuff. And it's got, uh, you can see my fingers kind of disappear here, it's got like a nice one inch lip there to keep stuff in place. Now a 25 foot primarily one room camper like this still has central air when you're looking at a Freedom Express. I cannot say that across all manufacturers. Um, we are looking at the double over double bunkhouse here, which has just become all the rage. This has become the thing everybody's looking for. But in a Freedom Express, you're looking at 50% thicker bunk mats. You're looking at higher quality stuff, even for the kids. Uh, lightweights usually do not have a gas and electric auto ignition fast recharge water heater. What all that means is that no matter where you are at any time you have hot water and if you're hooked up to shore power you can kick the gas and electric on at the same time for up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour. Lightweights usually don't have that. Um, again in the bathroom sealed edge countertop. I've mentioned that a few times but it's important because a, a lot of lightweights skimp on stuff like that. Um, Similar, the wall boards here around the shower, they're here to protect you from accidentally water damaging your own wall panels when shower water sprays off your body during bathing. Uh, so, you know, that's a preventative measure. I told you about how this camper is taller. That is no joke. I'm standing straight up and down in the shower. You get to see my nice balding hairline here because there's plenty of hair, uh, headroom above me and I don't have to put my head in the bubble over here. I don't know if any of that actually gets in the frame when I do it because I don't use a fancy camera. Now. You have bigger, easier light switches everywhere. And that's one of the things I liked. You saw one light switch for the living room, one light switch for the bedroom. That's how you have it at home. That's how it needs to be done. Um, your central air system here has a very cool little feature. You just flip these little fins open or closed. You first get to your campsite. It's really hot in here. Flip them open. All the cold air drops right here in the living room so the kids can cool off and settle down while mom and dad finish up detail work. Flip them closed like that and it starts to shunt the air up through the central AC system. Um, we, you see that we have privacy doors, not curtains. Again, huge difference between a lot of lightweights right there. Not even lightweights, a lot of trailers, period. Um, if you're looking around, uh, you also notice that we do have the spinning entertainment center here. So your nice 32 inch flat screen that can spin around to face the bedroom. And down here we have, uh, there's no need to bring along extra electronics because this is an all in one entertainment center. AM, FM, CD, DVD, it's even got a little Bluetooth mode so your phone can hook up to it wirelessly. Speaking of phones, we have a very handy little charging center over here. And if you pop this door open, you see that you can hide your chargers away. I see a lot of campers today have these really cool like black plastic chargers that go on the wall. It has a 12 volt plug and then two USB plugs. That's great. It's way better than nothing. However, um, did you seriously just spend this kind of money on a new travel trailer so you could see charging cords dangling everywhere? Well, I mean, they, they give you a way to hide that away here and make it look cosmetic and even have a little key rack. It's just, it's smarter, intelligent design and you find that all over in a Freedom Express. Um, slide this door open here. 
One thing, uh, a couple things I want to show you actually up in this bedroom. Both sides of the bed have stands with power outlets. You can run your CPAP machines and all that. Both sides of the bed have a very large, generous uh, wardrobe area. And where a lot of lightweights are just giving you a shelf or nothing overhead, you still get cabinets in a Freedom Express. Um, we actually have a roof vent here in the bedroom to help with more airflow. You see more LED lighting. There are no incandescents, I mentioned. And this is another big difference. This is an 80-inch true queen bed. Most lightweights have that 74-inch camper queen. A tall guy like me can sleep on this without my feet hanging off the bed. And holy cow, I ran long on this video. Uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.